A Bright One Chronicles is a four book series and the final one has just hit shelves. Now joining us this morning is author of the Chronicles, Bruce Junick. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning. So you've got four books and you can see the, uh, you can see them on here for yes. us. So the first one, how long ago did you write that one? Okay, I started the series uh, over 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago, yes. wow. And um, I realized that uh, it was a pretty complex story and that I really couldn't publish the whole series until I had written everything. <laughs> I couldn't publish the first book yes. until I'd written all four books. Actually, it started out, it was supposed to be a trilogy. Oh, really? But the story kind of got away from me. <laughs> it kept expanding. And now we have the fourth one, your fourth newest one. one. Yes. Uh, what's the title of that it's one? It's called A Bright One. A Bright One. So yes. this is the final of The Bright One this, Chronicles. This is the final book of A Bright One awesome. Chronicles. So when did this one, I guess... This one just came out just a month ago. Yes, of course. Yes. Now, this one, I guess... So first of all, take us on with this... Uh, series is about a little bit? Well, it's a super fun adventure series, but there's a real deep aspect to it, too. And the deep story is there's a kind of a matriarchal Yoman, Roman Empire that's been in decline for 400 years, and there's a prophecy of a young girl that's supposed to kind of bring back this empire. And so the story is this young girl that grows up, and the things that happen to her that they start thinking that she might be this girl of prophecy. And then the tension in the fourth book is really there's all different people that have different expectations on what she should do and what this prophecy means. And it's basically her decision on what she has to do. Mm -hmm. what she thinks is right. And this is the last part. This is the last book. No there more, is not there, another There book. is no surprise no, fifth one. Okay. No, no, there's definitely, <laughs> uh, I, like I said, there's supposed to be three and four was enough. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess what kind of chose you to write something kind of like this, taking these people through almost like a fictional world? Yes. Um, well, I've always really enjoyed fantasy, and most fantasy is kind of based off of uh, European mythology, mm -hmm. um, and I really want something completely different. So in mine, I have a matriarchal culture, which is really interesting for me because I am bothered by the patriarchal aspect of our society, and so it was really fun to flip it, that and to have... Uh, uh, and try to really build it in depth so that there was reasons that the women were in charge and why would men put up with this and what, you know, all of that to make it real. real. And then it was just very interesting for me just to, to imagine how different our society would be if some of the things uh, um, were completely flipped. So you kind of got to create this whole different society and culture ultimately yes. in these books. Is that kind of what people will kind of feel as they go along reading these four different well, books? Well, that's obviously part of the story. It's just a real fun adventure story as well. Mm -hmm. But I did think that that would add some social commentary and hopefully get some people really thinking um, about our society and the ways of looking at the world. I've traveled around the world a lot. My wife and I have bicycled uh, through more than 50 countries. Yeah. Wow. And so I really have seen there is a variety of ways of viewing life and I wanted to really incorporate that and build a whole society that was really, that made sense, that, that had those different visions of, of how, how the world was. Yeah, so, and sorry, this, this almost has a purpose of it for you, yes. but as people are reading it, can they almost take away something else or, you know, well, read it as they read it? Yeah, well, I hope so, and, and I think it's also, it's real gritty. Um, some fantasy is... is uh, all the, the characters get caught into a situation and then they ma use magic or something to, to get out of it. And this is low fantasy, so it's all the, the laws of physics that we have okay. in our world. There's no elves, there's no dragons. It used to be called magical realism when people would write like oh, this. Oh, okay. And so that's, you know, so it makes it more gritty. It makes it more kind of like our world is. Yeah. In fact, it's set in a desert environment and all the plants and everything are from real world deserts. All the animals are from real, are real world animals. Yeah. So Now Bruce, where can people find these books? So it's on Mitzi's books here in downtown yes. Rapid City yeah. and also on Amazon. Uh, it's also available on Kindle, all four books are. Awesome, so, uh, perfect. A real variety. Of yeah, well thanks for joining us this morning. It was great well, learning about these books. Thanks for Your having me. Your writing process.